Welcome back to Switch to Linux. <laughs> well, Firefox went and did it again. I know every single time we talk about Firefox, they're doing something stupider and we're thinking, what are you thinking? But the fact of the matter is, no, Firefox is going even crazier with their latest thing that has been just rolled out in the latest version of Firefox, which is 93. And uh, we're going to walk through what it is, we're going to walk through why they shouldn't do it, and we're going to show you how to disable it in this video. So first, let's go ahead and introduce what it is. This is Firefox Suggest. And uh, this actually goes back um, just a couple weeks back. This is where they're introducing this as a brand new product that they're super excited about. Get where you're going faster with Firefox Suggest. So today, people work hard to try to find what they want online, blah, blah, blah. Basically, what it's going to do is when you use what is actually called the awesome bar, which is the stupidest search bar in all of web browsing history, you click on it, it becomes this massive giant blah. And then, um, uh, of course, I've talked about that. That's more of an annoyance than anything horribly stupid at this point, but you click on the awesome bar and you start doing things and then you will find Firefox Suggests. We actually have a little video about it here, which I have not watched. Let's see how long this is. Well, I wasn't paying attention to most of that. Um, tried to get my audio fixed on my end. But uh, anyway, um, you go in there to the search bar and you type something in, then you'll find this Firefox search at the bottom. So these are partners that they are actually sharing your data with, according to them. So... What they're doing is, like they're doing Pocket, which is why I always disable Pocket, they're looking at your search history, they're looking at your open tabs, they're looking at your location data, yeah, and then they are putting together these search, uh, Firefox suggests search options at the very bottom. They say, of course, it's in your troll, uh, in your control, uh, they're offering contextual suggestions to a percentage of people in an opt-in experience that was back at 92 now at 93 it is pushed out and it is live and i tested it myself here's what they state down here unmatched privacy we believe online ads can work without advertisers needing to know everything about you nice keyword so when people choose to enable smarter suggestions, uh, it's no longer a choice. It is automatically enabled. Uh, we will collect only the data that we need to operate, update, and improve the functionality of Firefox Suggest and the overall user experience based on our lean data and data privacy principles. We also continue to be transparent about our data and data collection practices as we develop this feature. Um, the internet has so much to offer. We want to help people get the best out of it faster, blah, blah, blah. Over here is actually the details, the background details uh, from their blog about how this is working. And uh, you can see what it's doing here is the Firefox client, and then here's your web search. So when you type in the address bar, it looks for local history, bookmarks, uh, etc., which includes your IP address and your generalized location. And then it's going to go out to the default search providers. And then it's going to go in and share data with Mozilla. And then this is going to match it with partner data and it's going to send the data out. <clears throat> Now it says in its current form, what Firefox suggests compares searches against a list of allowable terms that is local to the client. When the search term matches a uh, a term on the allowed list, the completion suggestion may be shown alongside the local and default search options. So data collected, search queries and suggested impressions. Firefox sends Mozilla search terms 
and information about engagement Firefox suggests, some of which may be shared with partners to provide and improve the suggested content. So when you actually click on these links, that data is being sent to Mozilla, and they are turning around and sharing this with their data partners. Clicks on suggestions. When a user clicks on a suggestion, Mozilla receives a notice that the selected links were clicked. So now Mozilla is collecting data based on your interaction with Firefox. And location, Mozilla collects city-level location data with searches in order to properly serve location-sensitive queries. So now Firefox or Mozilla, the company, is getting data about your location. It approaches handling this data conservatively. We take care to remove data from our systems as soon as it is no longer needed. When passing data onto our partners, we are careful to only provide the partner with a minimum information required to serve the feature. This is why you shouldn't ever opt into it. Okay, the specific example in this principle is the search location. Location search is derived from the Firefox client IP address. However, the IP address can identify a person far more precisely than is necessary for our purposes. We therefore convert the IP address to a more general location immediately after you receive it, and we remove the IP address from all data sets and reports downstream. Access to matches and temporary short-lived data sets might include the IP address is highly restricted and limited only to a small number of administrators. We don't enable or now uh, allow analysis on data that includes IP addresses. So in reality, yes, people, employees at Firefox can still gain access to your IP address when you are using this feature. And I will uh, uh, alert you again, this is something that is a small target test Back in September 15th, but now with the brand new release of Firefox 93, it is enabled and it is now pushing out. So let's go ahead, jump on over to a virtual box where I have this new version of um, Firefox installed and I will show you what this looks like and how to disable it. So our test machine here is Zorin, and uh, this has been just updated today. And if we go up into the awesome bar and type in some search query. Let's just search for like Linux, for example. You can see down here, Firefox suggests. M player, front end for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. SM player, free media player for Windows and Linux. And here's a link to Wikipedia. Now you'll see that these two options, M player and SM player, these are actually showing up because Zorin is actually what I'm going to be using to work on a video coming out soon looking at different audio players. So I've actually searched for these particular things specifically. So now if I click on those items, then Firefox will actually get data contextual to things that I have actually searched on. And so this is constituting sharing data. So that is really where we have a problematic option. Now you can come over here and um, it's not over here. I got to remember where exactly this is. Okay, so when you go into your Firefox settings, you will not find this option down in search. Very interesting. You find it under privacy and security, address bar, Firefox suggest. Choose the types of suggestions that appear in the address bar. Browsing history, bookmarks, open tabs, shortcuts, search engines, contextual suggestions include occasional sponsored suggestions, which helps fund Firefox development and optimization. And then you can change preferences for search engine suggestions, which just takes you up to the search. So if you go in and disable all of this nonsense crap, then in theory, we should do away with that. So now you can see that there's no more Firefox suggests down there. So now this adds one more thing that you have to do in order to harden Firefox, going into your settings, privacy and security, and you need to disable everything having to do with um, Firefox um, suggest. So let's go ahead and clear out all of this stuff here. So there you have it, guys. Firefox, once again, is doing more nefarious things. This time, it actually results in Mozilla collecting data about you, your system, and your computer use, passing this data on to them, and then further taking them taking that data and then passing this on to their partners. So now Firefox is effectively compromised. Fortunately, being the open source browser it is, you can disable this nonsense 
Now that's one more thing you need to do. So who knows, maybe we need to update our Firefox hardening and talk more about implementing policies so the stuff cannot be uh, enabled down the road. So anyway, there is that. Let me know your thoughts about this. Are you going to abandon Mozilla or are you going to continue using it? Because what better choice do we have, Chrome? Um, but whatever that happens to be. So anyway, just a warning, though, to prevent Firefox and Mozilla from gaining information about you. Disable all that stuff in the settings. And if you are using policies, you can probably use a policy to disable this. And I will look into doing that in the future. So thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you next time. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.